everyone, welcome back. Today I have a tutorial on this look. This is my idea of work makeup that is super sophisticated but also a little bit sultry with this kind of smoked out elongated eye. I've used a lot of rosy tones today including the Becca Ombre Rouge palette, so pretty. Also, if maybe you are interested in this hair, I have a little hair tutorial at the end, so stick around for that. I hope you enjoy. We're gonna start with a primer that's geared towards longevity because presumably a work day is a long day. Totally blown away by this Rimmel primer. My makeup looked perfect when I went to remove it some, I don't know, 10 hours later. Highly recommend. For foundation, I've chosen Dior Air Flash because it's one of those formulas that blends really quickly. Now you can spray this in a fine mist all over, like airbrush makeup, but then I find that it gets in your brows and a bit in your hairline, so I prefer to spray a few dots and then blend. P.S. I heard somewhere around the grapevine that Air Flash is being discontinued. Are there any Dior employees out there that can confirm or deny that? because I would be heartbroken. It is one of my all time favorites. Taking this moment to prime the eyes right up to the brow bone and also on the lower lash line so that our eye makeup stays put all day. Onto concealer, my favorite is still the Urban Decay Naked. I think it's pretty damn bomb. Again, I'm spraying my beauty blender with setting spray before I go to blend. You can use this technique with any liquid or cream product if you want to enhance the longevity. To set the under eyes, I'm using the low key baking method. I have mentioned this in a previous video. If you want to know more, I will leave a link in the description box. Now recently my camera started picking up a bit of a white cast when I use powder. Um, I'm going to have to investigate that because it's not there in real life. You'll just have to take my word for it. Very suspicious. Onto the Becca Ombre Rouge Eye Palette, so pretty. You can find this on Cult Beauty. So we're taking the darker shade on an angled brush and then dampening the brush so that payoff is a bit stronger. This placement is like a thick wing that extends onto the lower lash line. It doesn't have to be neat at all because we're gonna blend it out. We're just sort of mapping out that feline shape. With whatever is left on the brush, you can take it across the lash line I kind of stopped above the iris. Then taking the caramel shade on a big fluffy brush and roughly shading the socket. Nothing too complex here, just whack it on until you have a warm haze. Next you'll need a small pencil brush and a mix of the caramel and burgundy to buff over that wing liner until it doesn't look like wing liner anymore. I personally prefer this sort of look for every day because there's no pressure to get your wings even and smooth because ain't nobody got time unless you do in which case hats off to you my friend much respect at first glance i thought this eye palette was all matte but on closer inspection there is a pinky shade with a bit of a sheen so i took that over the mobile lid for a bit of a rosy something something and that is pretty much the eyeshadow done it takes like three four minutes Give the lashes a really good curl, it makes a world of a difference. And onto mascara. You guys, you guys, the Fairy Drops mascara is my new obsession. You can build it and build it to infinity and beyond, and it's literally bulletproof. It will not smear. Also tight lining the upper lash bed. This will make your eyes look more defined, your lashes thicker, it'll do your laundry. Not quite, but you get the idea. I found the quickest way to do brows is using these thicker eyebrow pencils that have a slanted tip. They're not as precise, but you get that brow on real fast. This is by a Korean brand. Is it Tony Molly? My ashy brow people out there. This stuff is gray, maybe even too gray. And it's a rare occasion that I say that. Set the brows into place with a brow gel and back to the face. I'm using a lot of cream products, Primarily because I don't set the entire face with powder. And if you have ever tried to blend a powder blush over a tacky foundation, you know that it's work, 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 duck, 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 duck. Just couldn't help myself. This is a mauvey cream blush, and I think it pairs nicely with our rosy theme. 
Back at it again with the bronzer. <laughs> it's not quite a bronzer and it's not quite a contour, but a nice way to add dimension to the face for every day. I adore this Burberry contour stick. You're probably getting sick of it, but I can't put it down. 2016 favorite for sure. Dabbing a bit of cream highlight onto the cheekbones. This one is by Kryland and it's not, it's not your sort of fleeky highlight, but it's totes office appropriate. Onto lips and we're lining with a neutral lip liner and then make sure you feather inwards so that as that lip wears away, you're not left with this crazy outline. Also dabbing a bit of a rosy lip color onto the center of the lips and then just sort of blending it with a finger. Oh, I love this lip combo. It is the perfect rosebud. Mmm, beautiful. Welcome to another episode of Karima Can't Do Hair But Tries Very, Very Hard. We're going for an elegant side bun and it is stupid simple, I promise. So first step, arrange your hair into a side part and then separate the hair that frames the face. Now in my mind, that is the only bit that needs to look nice. Then sweep the remaining bulk of hair to one side and do a braid. Do a braid, make a braid, form a braid. Okay, now pull the loops of the braid to make it look bigger. This will help our bun to look voluminous and not sad. Then twist the braid and wrap it into a donut at the base of the head and pin into place. If your hair is a bit fluffy like mine, you might want to whip out your hair straightener and straighten the face framing layers so that they look shiny. Then lay the face framing layer <laughs> across the head and wrap the tail around the bun. Again, pin into place. Do the same for the other side. Maybe you can strategically pull out a few wispy bits. I do love a wispy bit and set with hairspray. Voila. I hope you enjoyed this hair and makeup tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments and also come say hello on Instagram. I post a lot of the new makeups there. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye bye.